So I thought, oh yeah, I'll just uh, chill out. And I saw the Wonder Woman trailer, I'll do the video for that, not that up, uh, job done. I'll chill out on a Sunday, I'll go see my mates, have a couple of beers. And then DC decided to go, no, your work, your work, monkey boy. There's loads of stuff for you to look at. You don't have these trailers, have all of them. So prepare yourself for a beard's eye view bombardment. Hi guys, welcome to Beard's Eye View, and this is going to be what I thought for the first trailer for The Batman. Before we begin, don't forget to like and comment down below, subscribe and ring the bell to be notified whenever I do videos. I do them every single week, so make sure you keep a lookout for those. The Batman, Robert Pattinson. Uh, as I've said before, I was not uh, on board with him being the Batman, uh, but I'm always happy to kind of give it a go and see what happens and see what person's take can be on it. Um, I saw images and all that kind of stuff that have popped up here and there, all quite good. And then this trailer dropped as part of this DC fandom kind of thing that's been going on. Loads of videos for loads of trailers and stuff, which obviously I said I will get to. But let's talk about the Batman. And I, I really thought this was a great, solid, awesome trailer. And it's definitely invested me in Robert Pattinson's Batman, 100%. It's dark, it's gritty, it's aggressive. It just looks really, really well shot and well put together. It reminds me a lot of the Arkham games, but even more with a little bit more grit to it as well. I love that it has that kind of feel to it. It is primarily based, as far as, far as I know, it could be completely based in the first early years of Batman. So he's only been Batman for a year or two. That I'm really intrigued by. That I really want to see. So it could still tie into the Ben Affleck Batman. It could just be like that prequel to the same character. And I hope that is the case because I don't want it to be as confusing as it already is. Got the dude's name, but the guy that's playing Jim Gordon a uh, guy I thought was a great casting choice, and it, I, you see him a couple of times in this. Uh, early years with Batman again, it's just, I, I like the kind of, they're building up that trust circle. I love that kind of thing that they do. Riddler. Riddler seems to be the main villain in this. Uh, I've heard that there's going to be a reasonable amount of Rose Gallery. I don't know how many of the characters are going to appear, uh, but Riddler is, looks like the main one. I thought originally with the, with the face duct taped up with no more lies on the front, I thought maybe they were going to go for Hush as like the main kind of villain. But I didn't really see anything else of Hush related in the trailer. It just became more apparent that it was definitely Riddler. Uh, Paul Dano's playing Riddler. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do. I've heard a lot of great things about him. The other two that uh, appeared as uh, villains, uh, Penguin and Catwoman. So we'll go for uh, Catwoman first. We see her two or three times. Uh, she's cracking a save. She has a little sparring uh, moment with Batman as well. Um, it's quite standard her suit but I actually quite like it it does look like a balaclava with little like ears and that's pretty much it and the rest of it just like a black suit um I like it it kind of sits quite well in this gritty universe that they're trying to build let's talk about penguin there were strong rumors and I don't know whether it was 100% confirmed I did a video of it in the past about Colin Farrell being penguin but I don't think it was ever 100% confirmed but I've checked it in different sources IMDB confirms that it is Colin Farrell playing the penguin and I just didn't believe it. If you look at the quick shots we get of him, we get a quick shot of his face, then we get a quick shot of him driving the car right at the end of the trailer, saying that Batman's crazy. That's Colin Farrell. The prosthetics that they've managed to get on this, and I don't think any of it's CGI, they've prosthetics with the nose and the chin, and the jowls, just everything around him, and maybe he's put on a bit of weight to kind of help it. They could have done a fat suit, I don't know. But good lord the detail they put in that it's so good and made him look like penguin so much that i just couldn't believe that it is colin farrell but everywhere he's saying that it is him and i'm still thinking to myself am i being worked i don't know because i just can't see that it's him but apparently it is so hats off to the makeup team and everything that because that's incredible really like the look of penguin again gritty and real kind of into this universe I'm looking forward to seeing that because Colin Farrell is awesome and seeing him as the Penguin would be great. Uh, yeah, as I said, Robert Pattinson's Batman, it's convinced me in this trailer that I think he, he's probably going to be a decent Batman. It's, he's early in his years, he's a, like I say, it's darker and everything. Um, I, I like the fact that they did like the eyeshadow around his face when he takes the mask off. Because not a lot of the other Batmans, I don't think any of the Batmans have ever done that once he's taken the mask off. It's all smudged and everything because, they, you know, it would be. So again, that adds to the realism of the of the universe they're trying to build in this film. I do like the suit. Uh, I didn't mind it before. And seeing it in action with movement, I, I thought, you know, it, it does have to look quite good. I quite like it. Um, it. It does have a little bit of kind of primitiveness to like, like the boots and a couple of bits here and there. Because obviously it's the early years, he's still kind of 
uh, putting his tech together and you know you know making himself as, as best as he can. Uh, we do see the Batmobile kind of in action very very quickly as well. Again, can't really grumble at that. I I know it's kind of like a sports car thing. And I was kind of like that with it, but set in this universe the way it is again with the early years of Batman it kind of makes sense I'm I'm all for that now you do hear Andy Serkis' uh, Alfred um, saying you become a bit of a celebrity why is he targeting you you hear it over the top the British accent that's Andy Serkis being Alfred uh, again another good casting choice and I'm, we don't see him in the trailer but I am looking forward to seeing how he does it my favourite part of this trailer and I'm pretty sure it was everybody else's favourite part as well was the moment that these thugs come up that kind of look like Joker thugs because the minimal makeup and everything, it doesn't seem like a penguin or a Riddler thug, it seems like a Joker thug, so maybe Joker will appear at some point, I don't know, like a small cameo or build up to the next film, I don't know how they're going to work that. Uh, but they said, oh, who the hell are you, or what are you supposed to be? And then he just grabs him in such quick succession, beats the living piss out of him, breaks his arm, slams into the floor, cr like cracks his jaw, you can hear him just smashing him into the ground, and then just holding him going, I am vengeance. I was like, oh! And even Robert Pattinson's voice, I was like, yep, that works fine. Uh, it's, he's gone into the role. He hasn't just phoned it in like Clooney did. I'm all for that. That scene was awesome. He says, I am vengeance. And then it cuts to the, like, the trailer and everything. And I do really like the, the logo that they've gone with, the black and the red. Really, really like that. It's, again, it, I don't know why it has a very Arkham feel to it. Even though it doesn't look like the Arkham logo, but it, I just like it. It just looks really cool. Uh, he says I am vengeance. I am hoping and praying that he goes for that full line that they had in the animated series. I'm, I'm pretty sure they had it in the comics as well, quote me if I'm wrong, but it was always kind of made as like the animated series when he said it for the first time, that was great. I am vengeance, I am the knight, I am Batman, and I, I pray that they can do that. If he's saying I am vengeance, there's no reason they can't do the full line at some point, and I kind of hope that they do, uh, so fingers crossed. Guys, overall, this was a great trailer. It really was. It has turned me around on the whole Pattinson thing. I'm generally properly looking forward to seeing what he does with it now. He looks gritty. It looks aggressive. It looks dark. It looks interesting. We're going to get new versions of Riddler and Penguin and Catwoman. All interested in that. I'm interested to see what other villains pop up. I'm interested to see these early years of Batman. Uh, it just looks, everything so far is ticking all the boxes. It just looks like it's going to be a solid Batman film. And, you know, Matt Reeves is directing. He's a good, a good director. I'm kind of hoping they can get a trilogy out of this, maybe. Um, if that's the case, we can see more of the rogues gallery. I hope that kind of happens. But yeah, so far, it is really, really looking good. Don't forget to look out for uh, my other DC uh, stuff that's been dropped this weekend. My Wonder Woman one is already up. I'm going to have other ones popping up as well for like the, the video games, the, the uh, Black Adam, the Suicide Squad. Justice League Snyder Cut, it's all popping up at some point, so make sure you keep a lookout for them because they will be coming. So that's what I thought of the Batman trailer. What did you think about it? Let me know down in the comments. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell. If you want to find me on social media, any of these, all links in the description, and I'll see you soon.